CBS News has learned Hollywood mogul Harvey Weinstein made a last-ditch effort to save his career. He sent a letter asking several movie industry executives for support just hours before he was fired from his company. Weinstein wrote, quote, I am desperate for your help. The letter was first reported by The Hollywood Reporter's Janice Min and then confirmed by CBS News. A number of celebrities are speaking out, including Kate Winslet, Meryl Streep, and Judi Dench. Jerika Duncan sat down with a journalist who shared her encounter with Weinstein. Jerika, good morning. Good morning. Ten years ago, Lauren Savon was a local reporter in Long Island, New York. Savon met Harvey Weinstein in mixed company at a dinner party. But when he offered her a private tour of his restaurant, she says she was stunned by the encounter. The details of their first and only meeting are graphic. When he asked me if I wanted to tour the restaurant or the kitchen, no, there was no apprehension. Um, should there have been? Yes. It was 2007, and journalist Lauren Savon said she got a very friendly vibe from Harvey Weinstein. I didn't get anything that read he was dangerous until we got downstairs. And, and what happened? He tried to kiss me, and I, I pushed him off politely. And that's when he seemed to get angry or annoyed and told me to just stand there and be quiet. Savon said Weinstein had her cornered. He exposed himself, um, and he um, basically uh, pleasured himself. And um, when he finished, I said to him, are we done here? Can I leave? Because he had been blocking the exit. Several actors who were hired by Weinstein have spoken out against him, including Meryl Streep, who said the behavior is inexcusable. But Weinstein was defended by fashion icon Donna Karen. It's not Harvey Weinstein. You look at everything all over the world today, you know, and how women are dressing and, you know, what they're asking by just presenting themselves the way they do. What are they asking for? Trouble. Karen apologized yesterday, saying my statements were taken out of context and do not represent how I feel. I am truly sorry to anyone that I offended. Savon told us some have been critical of her for not speaking out sooner. I don't like that idea of blaming the victim. Like, blame him. You know, blame the people that enabled him. George Clooney told the Daily Beast Weinstein's behavior is indefensible. He said, this is the moment to start scaring people like this into not acting this way anymore. CBS News has repeatedly reached out to Harvey Weinstein and the Weinstein Company for comment, but we have not heard back. Nora? All right, Jerika, thank you so much.